Bruce Brown has been a revelation. During these NBA Finals so far, Bruce has been an extremely valuable part of the Denver Nuggets. He was always known as a pretty productive guy out there that did a really nice job defensively and was pretty productive offensively as well, but during this playoff run as a whole and also in these NBA Finals so far, Bruce has been even more valuable and he's been even more productive than he normally is. And at this point, it's pretty clear that he's significantly upgraded certain aspects of his game to make him an overall better player. But quickly, before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that post notification bell. I also want to quickly mention that I recently started up an MMA channel, and if you guys are interested in that, the link will be in the description. But anyways, let's get into it. Bruce Brown was originally drafted with the number 42 overall selection during the 2018 NBA draft by the Detroit Pistons. And originally when he was being drafted, he wasn't seen as much. He was seen as a guy that may be able to turn into a role player in the long term future. But early on for the Detroit Pistons, after having an okay rookie season, in his second season he was producing. As in his second year he was averaging 9 points per game on 4.7 boards and also 4 assists. Now obviously those numbers don't jump out off the page at you, but at the same time, they were very productive numbers, and when you looked at what else he was doing out there in terms of the hustle plays and in terms of the defense he was providing, it was pretty clear that he was a pretty nice role player out there. But after a couple season stint with the Detroit Pistons, he then moved on to the Brooklyn Nets, where he was also pretty productive for them as well, putting up basically the same numbers that he did in his second year in Detroit. But after having another two pretty productive seasons with the Brooklyn Nets, he then moved on to the Denver Nuggets after signing with them for a relatively cheap contract. And going into his first season with the Denver Nuggets, people thought we already knew who Bruce Brown was. He was a guy that was pretty productive offensively, he was very productive defensively, and also in terms of the hustle plays, but he wasn't necessarily going to be much more than that. But during the season, Bruce Brown added one major thing to his game that really took his game to the next level. And during the regular season this year, Bruce ended up having the best year of his career. And also, especially during the playoffs, Bruce has been playing probably even better than he did during the regular year. But the question at this point is why? Why was Bruce able to improve his game so much this season as compared to every other year he's played in the NBA? Well, I actually think Bruce Brown improved a couple of different aspects of his game, but clearly the main aspect has to be his three-point jump shot. Because as I mentioned in years past, he was relatively efficient and effective offensively, but he was doing most of his damage in the paint and sometimes he was doing some damage from that mid-range area. But when you talk about a guy who's as one-dimensional as Bruce Brown was at that point, it then became very easy for the defense to know how to play this guy. They can just play him from pretty far away because they know he's not going to shoot that three-point jump shot. And even if he does take it a couple of times when he's wide open, he's probably not going to hit a high percentage of them. So it just became very difficult for Bruce to be very efficient and effective offensively and became very easy to defend this guy. But with that being said, he actually still was relatively efficient and effective offensively. But this season, Bruce has really done a great job at utilizing that three-point jump shot within his game and getting it to a point where it's relatively consistent. And at this point, if Bruce has a wide-open three-point jump shot, he definitely has the capability to hit it. Because when you look at this Denver Nuggets team, they move the ball a ton. And especially when you talk about playing with a guy in Nikola Jokic, he's going to get you a ton of wide-open three-point looks. And as the season has progressed this year, I feel like we saw Bruce get better and better with that three-point jump shot with the more looks he's been getting, but especially in the playoffs, I really think he's gotten even better as well, as he even had a couple of games during this year's playoffs that he really went off offensively, and part of that was certainly the three-point jump shot, because if the three-point jump shot is going, of course you're scoring that way, but also now the defense needs to focus on that a little bit more, and now it gives you that driving lane to go to the basket and get easy dunks or layups for this guy. And also, when you talk about all the different weapons that the Nuggets have in Jamal Murray, Nikola Jokic, 
Michael Porter Jr. There's so many different offensive threats on this team that opposing defenses aren't really going to focus on Bruce Brown all that much, and that just makes it so much easier for him to go off in certain games, which is certainly something we have seen. So really adding that three-point jump shot for him has really revolutionized his game and made him so much better, not only because he added that aspect, but it also made every other aspect of his offensive game better. And throughout the rest of these NBA Finals, Bruce Brown is going to be a crucial part to the success of the Denver Nuggets have. Because I actually do think he might have one or maybe a couple more games where he plays very well offensively and puts up 15 plus points, and at that point, that extra scoring punch that he would provide for Denver could potentially help the Nuggets to win that specific game, and actually could end up winning them the series if Bruce does that enough times. But even in those games where Bruce doesn't play all that well offensively, and he only puts up 5 to 8 points per game, he's still going to be very valuable for the Nuggets. Because he's just going to be that guy that hustles extra hard for those loose balls, also plays very well defensively, and gives a break to a guy in Jamal Murray, and Jamal can guard a different guy who maybe isn't as effective offensively, and you could put Bruce Brown on Jimmy Butler, or you could put Bruce Brown on the opposing team's best player at that point, whoever's on the floor, and then that just gives Jamal Murray some more energy for offense, and gives him the capability to do what he does best offensively. And I just think it's understated of how valuable a guy like Bruce Brown truly is to a roster, because as the example I just mentioned before, a guy who plays really good defense can give a break to your better guys, and then that in turn makes your offense just better just based on that. But also when you talk about the fact that Bruce has really added that three-point jump shot within his game, he just becomes that much more valuable to this specific Denver Nuggets team because he's going to get so many wide open looks, and it's just going to help everybody out at there, and I do think he's actually going to be a huge part of what the Nuggets do in this finals matchup. But now, the question is, what are my predictions for the rest of this series between the Nuggets and the Heat? Well, at this point, obviously, it's a very close series, and it could go either way. But with that being said, I think the real determining factor for the series would be to look at who has the more firepower. And although the Heat have been extremely impressive, and they do have a lot of different guys on the roster that are contributing, at the end of the day, I think it's pretty clear, actually, that the Nuggets have the more firepower, as they have Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray, who have the capability to put up 30 plus on any given night in the playoffs. But also, when you look at the rest of the roster, they also have a pretty deep team as well, as they have a guy in Michael Porter Jr. who also has the capability to go off offensively whenever he wants, and they just have a very deep roster besides those main two guys. And although in the past, I did think other teams had the more firepower over the Miami Heat, like the Boston Celtics especially, but also even the New York Knicks and the Milwaukee Bucks, the reason for why I thought the Heat were still able to win those series has to be due to coaching. And although still at this point, I think they have the better coach, at the end of the day, I do also think that the Nuggets are very well coached. So if the coaching is somewhat close, I feel like the next factor that you need to look at would be the firepower. And at this point, I really do think that the Nuggets have the more firepower, and I do think eventually they'll be able to win the series. But I guess only time will tell what does end up happening with the Denver Nuggets and the Miami Heat. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Bruce Brown has been a revelation this season, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now, and until the next time, peace out guys.